Hi, I'm Mike Pfeiffer from Industrial Metallurgists. Um, I recently wrote a, an article on metal strength, and this is just a brief video as, a, as an addendum or complement to the article just to provide a little more details about the concepts of metal strength. So with metal strength, I'm referring to metals, yield strength and tensile strength. The yield strength refers to the strength at which a metal starts to deform permanently, and a tensile strength is the maximum stress that a metal can support before it starts to fail, before it starts to uh, form cracks and then ultimately fracture. For all pro or almost all products, when we're selecting a metal, people are selecting the metal to have certain strength properties, to have a certain yield strength and tensile strength, because that material has to perform in a certain way in that component and be able to support certain loads. That's often not the only mechanical properties that are, that are required for that, the application. However, those are usually the, the two top um, properties that are specified. There might also be concerns about fatigue strength, or impact toughness, um, and perhaps elongation or creep strength. But tensile strength and yield strength are very important for almost all applications. Um, so there, tensile strength and yield strength, as well as elongation and elastic modulus, are, are evaluated by taking a, a sample of a metal and preparing a tensile specimen from that sample and pulling that sample and measuring the amount of deformation and the amount of force to pull it. And from the force and deformation data, we then can plot the stress versus, versus strain. And from that information, from the graph, can then determine the yield strength and tensile strength along with other information about the tensile properties of the material. Um, so what's really important about metals and, and great about metals is the wide range of alloys available, as well as the different manufacturing processes that are available that enable us to engineer metal strength, that is to get the strength that we need for a specific application. And we also, when we think about strength, we also think about the application, but also we have to think about the strength with respect to ease of forming the material. So we have to have a material that has the right properties for making it easy to, to fabricate a component out of metal sheet or plate um, or wire or tubing. When engineering metal strength, we have to think about dislocations. Dislocations are microscopic structures that are present in metals. They are present in all metals. And dislocations can move through a metal if the stress on the metal is large enough to cause the dislocations to move. And when the stress on the metal is large enough, dislocations start to move and the metal deforms. We can do things to a metal to engineer the metal to make it easy for dislocations to move that results in a reduction in the metal strength. And we can do things to a metal that makes it more difficult for dislo dislocations to move. And that results in an increase in the metal strength. And we have different things available to us to alter dislocation motion. So for any particular type of metal, whether it's a steel or aluminum or brass alloy or titanium alloy, we can do things to modify ease of dislocation motion and therefore modify metal strength. We can add different alloying elements, we can cold work the metal, we can use various heat treatments, we use one, two, or all three of them together, that is alloying plus cold working or alloying plus heat treating or cold working plus heat treating together to modify ease of dislocation motion and therefore modify metal strength. So there are a lot of ways that we can engineer a metal to, to get different strengths. And of course, we can just select different alloy systems, selecting aluminum or different types of steels or different whether it's stainless steel or carbon steel or a high strength low alloy steel or a titanium alloy. Um, so we have lots of things available to us to engineer metals in order to get the strength we need in components as well as get other properties. If you want to learn more about dislocation motion, you can take our course Principles of Metallurgy teaches about the basics about teaches about dislocations as well as other microscopic structures that influence metal properties. It'll help you understand how to engineer metals better. Um, so if you're interested in learning more, take our Principles of Metallurgy course. Also, we have steel metallurgy and aluminum metallurgy courses that go into the specific details about how to engineer those metals to increase, to modify their strength. Um, thanks for watching and good luck with your metals.